All right, what's up, guys? We're back in another video. We're reacting to SML movie Jeffy the Sketch Artist with my guest here, Ollie. Yeah. I recently ate a uh, banana go check that pepper. video out. Yeah, go check that out. It was a banana pepper wrapped in like two. Uh, anyway, guys. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's go. Yeah. Hold still, Danny! I said hold still! I've been holding still. And done! It's a masterpiece! I present to you, Daddy Raph! Aw, Jeffy, that's no, such that a good drawing of Marvin! I mean, it's a good drawing of my face, not really my body. I will now draw Mommy's face on a silver gorilla, making sweet love to a squirrel. Marvin, look, the news! Breaking news! The police station is looking for us. Hold up! Imagine it's just the uh, giraffe human, and it's just it's uh, Mario and uh, giraffe, and it's just running. Sketch around. artist and is willing to pay two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. So if you're good at drawing, come down to the police department. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year to draw pictures? Marvin, Jeffy could do that job. He's great at drawing people. Um, sorry to interrupt, mommy, but if you were to have a mirror, how big would it be? What? Actually, I should probably. Draw hold up! Hold up, Jeffy. Why are you trying to know that? Like, she a girl and she a mob, but... I mean, I'd, say, I'd, I'd probably say about, like, three inches. <laughs> I mean, Rose, we all know, you know, you'll be playing with Buzz Lightyear, as we saw in the last video, because uh, we heard... Zzz. I heard that in her room. What the... Draw a silverback gorilla's wiener to keep the theme going. I wonder how big they are. Should I Google it? I'm gonna Google it. Jeffy, do you want to draw pictures for the cop? Y'all, don't Google that. <laughs> Bro, imagine, imagine he just goes over to his, like, he goes over to Cody's house and his, and Cody sees, uh, like, his search history and he's like, Woohoo! Oh. He's like, Woohoo, I already know the answer to that. Um, Go ahead and, um, pull down my pants. <laughs> For $250,000 a year. That's crazy! I know, it's so much money just to draw pictures. A silverback gorilla's wiener is only three to six centimeters long. That means my wiener is barely bigger than a silverback gorilla's because I clocked mine at six and a half centimeters. Jeffy! Ha! Ah! Look, do you want to draw pictures for the cops? More kind? Nah, Jeffy be packing though. What? No, wrong answer. So, here's the thing. If he actually gets paid to do that... If he gets paid to do that, he... Yes! He's, yes, but here's the thing. Think he's about probably, that. That's he, 500 but, grand a year. Yeah, but, Or 500 grand two years. Yeah, but the thing is, he's only drawing people with yeah. penises braided. Take a picture. Yeah, All you have to do is draw pictures of people without animal, animal bodies, yeah, just yeah, normal people, and they'll pay you $250,000 a year. Uh, All right, Daddy. Yeah. But first, let well, me add the three to six centimeter hog to this gorilla. No, no okay. hogs, Jeffy. Listen, I need you to draw a picture of just me so we can show the cops how good you are. Okay, Daddy, but this squirrel was about to get the business. All right, look, just draw a normal picture of me with my clothes on, okay? All right, Daddy. Squirrel humping or no squirrel humping? No squirrel humping. Just, just a picture of me. Mm-hmm. And done. What do you think about that, Daddy? Pretty lame, if you ask me. I could have given you some udders or a stoma. That looks so good, Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy. That's exactly what the cops are going to want you to draw every single time. Every time. Yeah, just normal people, no animals. Just like that. Just like this. Just like that. Okay, I got it, Daddy. Locked in my brain. All right, let's go down to the cop office and show them that drawing. The police station? That, that, that's what I said. No, you said cop office. Cop office, police station. It's the same thing. Look, let's go down to the police station and show them the drawing. Come on. Oh. So, uh, this is my drawing of a bad guy. What do you think? It's pretty good, right? It's crap. Oh, man. Oh, God, these people oh, suck. Guy, what do you think? It's pretty good, right? Oh, it's crap. Oh, man. Oh, God, these people suck. Next person! Jeffy, get in here. I'm nervous. Jeffy, come on. What? All right, Mr. Chief. This is my son, Jeffy. He's really good at drawing. Look at the drawing he did of me. Well, that's pretty good. He even colors him, too. That'll come in handy. Okay, he's hired. Wait, he's hired already? Yeah, we're pretty desperate for sketch artists. Jeffy, you got the job! Yay! <laughs> so when does he start? Right now. Oh, oh, wow. Well, all right, Jeffy. Just do your job and come home when you're done. All right, Daddy. All right, Jeffy. Sit right there and use this sketch pad to draw the suspect based on the victim's description. Send in the victims! Okay, Jeffy, I have the first victim here. Ma'am, tell him what happened. All right, I'm ready. Well, there was a man with a big old cowboy hat on, and he lassoed me up, tied me to the 
train tracks so the train would run me over and kill me. Cowboy hat, huh? He has a big cowboy hat. All right, I think I got him. Is this your man? Uh, well, he has the cowboy hat on. I, I guess that's him. Ma'am, if you're telling me that's who attacked you, I know where that guy is. I can arrest him. Yes, that's him. Okay, I'll go get him. Baby, Jeffy got the job. He did? Yes, the police chief loved Jeffy's drawing of me. That's amazing, Marvin. I know. I love that Jeffy actually got a job that's something he's good at, and he's going to make a lot of money. Let's just hope Jeffy doesn't mess this up. Freeze, Marvin, you're under arrest. For what? For attempted murder and kidnapping. What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend like you didn't just tie a woman to railroad tracks like you're in some kind of Western movie. I did it. Yeah, well, we have all the proof we need. Let's let the judge decide. Marvin, how could you? Order, 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 order. Today, we will be hearing the case of a most brutal crime. Marvin, you are being accused of lassoing a woman like a cowboy, tying her up, and then placing her on the railroad tracks in hope that she would be run over by a train. How do you plead? Not guilty. Mm, not guilty, you say? Very interesting. Well, I suppose I'll let you go if you can explain this! This drawing that our professional and very overpaid sketch artist made of the suspect based on the victim's description. Hmm? Hmm? Explain it! That's a drawing my son made. He's the police sketch artist and he made a mistake and drew me. Well, Marvin! Based on this sketch looking exactly like you, and there being no other evidence brought into court today, I have no choice but to find you guilty and sentence you to 30 days in the county jail. Oh, that's nothing. And okay. boom goes the dynamite. Guilty, but I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Oh, get in here, you. Please let me out. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, I hear that all the time. I'm not guilty. guilty. You saw that sketch. It was spot on. It looked just like you. Listen, my son is a sketch artist, and he accidentally drew a picture of me. No, no, no. Your son knows he'd get fired if he drew a sketch of the wrong person. He should be fired. He drew me. Look, well, just because he's a tattletale on you doesn't mean you're getting out of this. Listen, please. I don't want to be in prison. No, you should just do your 30 days and be happy that you only got 30 days for trying to kill no. a with a train. That's brutal. I did not do that. Look, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Camera. The time is what you should think about before you do the crime. Crime doing equals time doing. Hard crimes gets you hard times. The, the, the time is what happens when you do crime. You don't, don't do the crime because you should think about the time before you do the, the crime. Okay, look, I'm just gonna go. No, please let me out of here. I can't spend 30 days in here. Yeah, All right, Jeffy, good job on that last one. Here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what happened. So, I was cleaning the house with Windex. So when I go to grab the Windex, I realize we are out of Windex. So I go downstairs to grab the lemon and pledge. And then I see this man climbing through the window with his banana hat. And he tried to steal things and shot him in his sack. What? Santa Claus hat, huh? See, si, see, si, Santa Claus hat. And a big sack. Yeah, see, si, see. Si. All right, I think I got him. Is this your man? See, <gasps> see, si, si, that's my man with the Santa hat. Oh, no, not Marvin again. Ugh. <sighs> How was your 30 days in jail, Marvin? I was false in prison. Well, the judge convicted you, so obviously there was enough evidence. No, baby, listen. Jeffy's a sketch artist, oh, and for some God. reason he drew a picture of me wearing a cowboy hat, and they arrested me based on Jeffy's photo. Oh, no, Marvin. We have to fix that so it doesn't happen again. You're right. I'm going to call the cops and explain what happened. Freeze, Marvin. You're exactly who I want to talk to. You're under arrest. What? For what? Don't pretend like you didn't impersonate Santa Claus and break into someone's well. house and try to be the Grinch. What? Don't what me, mister. You're going to jail. Marvin, I'm Marvin, I am very disappointed to see your face in my courtroom again. Did those 30 days teach you nothing? Hmm? I didn't do anything. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? You are being accused of breaking into a house dressed like Santa oh, Claus. Doesn't get away and more. instead of leaving jolly good gifts for the little boys and girls, stealing their valuables. How do you plea against this grinching? Not guilty. Very cute. Too bad I have this. A drawing of you dressed like Santa Claus based on the victim's description. 60 days in the county jail. <laughs> 60 days? Come on. I didn't oh, do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have fun in there. Listen, I didn't do anything. I promise. Oh, you promise? Yes. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll let you out. Wait, really? Oh. No, you idiot. I'm not stupid. I have a GED. I wasn't born yesterday. Oh. Listen, I don't want to spend two months in jail. Oh.
Okay, Jeffy, you've been doing a great job so far. Thanks. Okay, here's your next victim. Tell him what happened, Dolphin. Well, I was just riding my Harley, and then I pulled into a gas station to get some Hubba Bubba chewing gum and some white powdered donuts, because I really like those. And I left my keys in my Harley because I didn't think anyone had the balls to try to steal it from me. But then I look out the window, and I see this guy wearing sunglasses, and he jumped on my Harley and just drove off with it. I didn't really get a chance to see what he looked like. Is this him? Oh, yeah, that's definitely him. I'd know those sunglasses anywhere. Oh, damn it. Oh, kill me. Marvin, you deserve those 60 days in jail if you really did try to impersonate Santa Claus just to steal. Baby, are you kidding me? I'm not actually doing these crimes. I've been next to you the whole time. It's because Jeffy's a sketch artist, and he keeps drawing me as all these criminals, and it's the only evidence the judge has, so he keeps arresting me. Oh, no, Marvin. We have to fix that in case it happens again. I know, so if they keep arresting me, then you gotta tell them it's Jeffy doing fake drawings. Freeze, Marvin. You're under arrest. What for what? For stealing a dolphin's motorcycle. Okay. What? Well, you did it. What? Marvin, how could you? Marvin, why am I seeing your face in my courtroom again? Did 60 days in jail not teach you your lesson? What do I have to do to rehabilitate you? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Oh, I didn't do it. Marvin, you sound like a broken record. If you did not do it, then explain this. That's a drawing my son did. He keeps drawing me. Marvin, this is the face of a hardened criminal. Someone with no remorse. Look at you with your sunglasses. You must think you're a real cool dude, especially because you stole a motorcycle from a dolphin. You did it on purpose. Why would a dolphin be driving a motorcycle? I don't know, Marvin. It's not my job to understand sea animals and their means of transportation. It is my job to convict criminals like you. And you've been on quite a crime spree lately. So, based on this drawing and the complete lack of remorse on his face, I sentence you to 90 days in jail. And for every crime you commit from now on, we will increase your sentence by six months to hopefully teach you a lesson. Go! Oh my God. Oh my God. You must really like it in here. Listen, I really don't. I have oh, one question for you. Okay. You're falsely imprisoning me. No so that means the real people that are doing those crimes are out there causing more crimes. Oh, I have a feeling that the real criminal is right here in the cell. Yeah. That's you. What? You. You are no, not. No, yes, you no way. Hey, nobody. Yo, chat. <sighs> make the video. Put it in here. Okay, Jeffy, here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what happened. Well, I didn't see what the guy looked like, but here's what happened. I was walking to the grocery store to buy tampons, heavy flow, and then all of a sudden this man walked up to me and he smacked me in the face with a chicken and he stole my purse. Hold it right there, ma'am. Is this him? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I didn't see what he looked like, but that rubber chicken is very familiar. Oh, no. Hey, Marvin. Did you enjoy those 90 days in jail, Marvin? It was a lonely three months for me. Listen, I was the one that was in jail for three months. I'm the one that was lonely. I'm looking out for the cops. I don't have much time because they're going to arrest me again. I just know it. Listen, this is what we should do. Go to the police station and just tell Jeffy to stop drawing. Please just tell him to stop drawing. Hey, Marvin, you're under arrest. No, let me finish explaining it to her. No, no, no. You beat a woman with a rubber chicken and you stole the purse. What? Come on. No, go to, go to the police station, please. Marvin, you monster. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Marvin, 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 Marvin. Oh, Marvin. Poor Marvin. 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 Oh, Marvin. Oh, my God. Marvin. Oh, my God. Really, Marvin? Assault with a rubber chicken. To steal a woman's purse. I just don't know what to do with you, Marvin. I gave you 30 days in jail. It was a cakewalk. 60 days. Mm, big whoop. 90 days. Mm, that's a week in Marvin's world. Let me ask you a question, Marvin. Do you enjoy jail? Do you have a good time in jail? Is jail fun? Let me check. Hold on, Marvin. Let me see how jail is. Oh, give me a second. Oh, I'm Marvin. I love being in jail. Jail is so much fun. I wish I could stay here forever. Is that you, Marvin? Is that what you say in jail to all of your jail buddies? Answer me, Marvin. Answer me when I'm speaking to you. No, I don't like jail. Could have fooled me, Marvin. Could have fooled me. You know what, Marvin? I'm going to drop the ball. One year in jail. No, make it two. Ten. 
It doesn't matter. It's all the same to Marvin. He loves jail. You know what, Marvin? I'm going to do a little reverse psychology here. Ten minutes in jail, because apparently you love it so much that being there is a reward. But I'd better not see you back in my courtroom again. Ten minutes? Only ten minutes? Come on. Thank you! I'm not even going to close the door. I'm not going to lock it. I think you get off on that, you sick freak. What? <sighs> ten minutes and I can leave. Okay, Jeffy, I'm really mad about this one. Somebody robbed my wife. Honey, tell them what happened. Okay, there was a little redhead girl who was selling Girl Scout cookies. So I gave her a hundred dollars and she ran away with my change and didn't give me my cookies. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Yes, there was a Girl Scout. Oh, I think I got that part. Is this her? Yes, yes, that's her. I recognize the best and my cookies. Oh, Marvin. Baby! That was only 10 minutes, Marvin. Please! Oh, no, come on, that's bullshit. No, come on, you're stealing Girl Scout cookies. That's horrible! If he gets sentenced, I'm, I'm walking to my house. He, with all my stuff here. Uh, I guess you Judge, can... are you okay? I think he's really mad. Yeah, I think so. Marvin. Here we are again, Marvin. Just me and you. Another crime, you're guilty. Another drawing, it's you. See, Marvin, I just couldn't figure you out. But now, I think I finally have. It wasn't jail that you loved so much. It was me. You're in love with me. That's why you keep doing these crimes, so that you can come here and see me. Well, Marvin, since you're in love with me, I can no longer preside over your trials. So, my final sentence to you is a life sentence. I am sending you to Alcatraz Island. Yes, that's right, Marvin. We opened it up just for you. Your own little playground where you can do your crimes away from civilized society. And if you try to escape, there are shark-infested waters. So you will spend the rest of your life at Alcatraz. I will give you five minutes to say goodbye to your family. Bailiff, go with him. A life sentence! Whoa. Let's go say bye to your family. Wait. All right, make it quick. What? That was fast, Marvin. Yeah, not really. He's going to be spending the rest of his life on Alcatraz, whereas we're going to call it Marvin Traz. Right. What? Listen, baby, there's one favor I need from you. Just one. He's in love with the judge. <gasps> All right, everyone, just shush. Please, everyone, just listen to me. Please. All right, you know my son, Jeffy, was hired as the new sketch artist at the cop office. Cop office? Police station. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. All right, do you notice that all of his drawings look like me? Well, yeah, because you did all the crimes. No, 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 I didn't. Listen, please just do me one favor. I'll go to Alcatraz for the rest of my life. Just do me one favor. Go up to Jeffy and describe a criminal that looks nothing like me, like different skin color, completely different looks, and see what the drawing looks like. Hmm. Okay, I'll try it. Okay, Jeffy, this time I'm going to describe someone to you, and I need you to draw them. All right, what do you got for me? No, I'm just why, why have you he already started drawing? Actually, I haven't described him yet. He's gone. Okay, well, he's a really large black man with one eye, and he's in a wheelchair, and he has 11 scars on his face. All right, I think I got him. Is this him? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, 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 Marvin. It appears there's been a huge misunderstanding. And to make up for all of that jail time where you were falsely imprisoned, we are willing to offer you this small chocolate frosted from Wendy's. It was going to be my lunch, but I am now offering it to you. Here, take it. Go on, take it. Before I change my mind. All I get is a frosty. Well, I suppose I'll eat it myself then. Court adjourned. Marvin, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, Marvin, I feel really bad. I probably should have put that together. Like, how are you doing those crimes if you were already in jail? I'm not apologizing. It's 100% your fault. What? Because you said to make every drawing look just like this. And I clarified. I said, just like this, and you said, just like that. And you said, every time. So every time I made the drawing look just like this, this is your fault. You did say that, Marvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot Jeffy's an idiot. Come give me a hug, Jeffy. I I'll forgive you. Really, man? Yeah, okay. come, come here. Ow, ow, hey, no hitting. No hitting, stop it. I ow. I should probably arrest you for that. He's 18. Ow. Okay. Hey. Nope. We'll see y'all later. Well, so, that was one question. question. What is something, what is something you are you're good, good at doing? Basketball. Well, yeah. Uh, well. Peace out, See guys. See you later. Peace out. This is Black Mamba. And, uh...